In this session, we will learn about GUI Builder Toolbox available in Scilab. GUI Builder is a toolbox for developing GUI-based applications in Scilab. In the Atoms module, we see that GUI Builder is loaded in Scilab. If it's not installed, then we can install it from the GUI section. We type GUI Builder command in the console to launch the GUI Builder. GUI Builder has two windows, one is the blank figure where we can place the controls, and other is the tools palette. It has all the controls available in Scilab. It also has controls to modify and adjust the UI elements placed on the figure. We start with placing controls in the figure. Now, click the push button control in the tools palette, a window opens where we need to specify the tag and string property of the control. Then, we click on the figure where we want to place the control, and then drag to size the control, then again click to position the control. The controls which we place in the figure, are listed in the tools palette list. To modify any control, we select the control from the list, and then click the object properties command. In the properties window, we can modify any properties like style, tag, and others. Likewise, we place other controls on the figure. Then, we select the control and using the adjustment commands, we move the control and modify the size of the control. We can move the control in any direction, and we can increase or decrease the height and width of the control. We can also modify or move all the controls together using the alignment command. For this we select all controls in the list and click the alignment command. In the alignment window, we align all controls and also modify the size of the controls. Now, after completing the GUI, we generate the script file, which has the code for all the controls and the figure, and save it in the working directory. In the script file, there is figure command with all the properties of the figure listed. We can change any property to modify the behavior of the figure. Here, a struct variable handles, is created which stores all the objects created by the UI controls. We can modify the properties of the controls like string, style, tag, position, and callback. The callback function associated with the control can be stored in separate function files or within the same script. From the callback functions, we can call other functions and programs. This way we can create programs with user interface support in Scilab. That brings us to the end of this session. Thank you for your interest and attention.